Okay, so now in this video, we will connect our waypoints. We will draw a line from our previous waypoint to the next waypoint, and then from the next waypoint to the previous waypoint. So, as you know, we have left a comment right here for us. After this comment, we will create a if condition, and in here, we will say that if the previous waypoint is not equal to null, then what we will do? We will color our previous waypoint as in red color. And then after that, we will say vector 3 offset, and this will be equals to waypoint.transform.write, and we will multiply that by the waypoint.waypointWidth, and let's divide that by 2f. After this, we will create another vector 3 by the name of offset 2, and this will be equals to waypoint.previousWaypoint.waypoint transform dot right and we will multiply that by the waypoint dot previous waypoint dot waypoint width and we will divide that by 2f and after this we will draw a straight line from our previous waypoint to the next waypoint so we will say gizmos dot draw line and we want to draw a line from our waypoint, okay, from our main waypoint game object. So we will say waypoint dot transform dot position, and then we want to draw that line from the offset to the waypoint dot previous waypoint dot transform dot position, and we will now draw the line to the offset too. So let me tell you what this code will do. This will basically color the straight line as in red color. And then right here in the vector 3 offset, we take the current waypoint position. And then in here, we take the previous waypoint position. And then from the current waypoint to the previous waypoint, we created a line. And as I told you, that line will be in red color. So now if we save this code and get back to Unity, now as you can see, there is a line from our current waypoint to the previous waypoint. As you can see now, if we try to create more waypoints, you will see that this line will go for them as well. Okay, and now if we add the zero to the next waypoint, and for the one, we add the waypoint three. You will notice that now this zero is connected with the three so in this way it will show the connection between the waypoints now let me delete that and now for the next waypoint we also want to draw a line so for that we will simply copy this code and paste it down below and now we will say that if the next waypoint is not equals to null then we will color that as green then right here we will use the minus sign because now the line will go from the current waypoint to the next waypoint and right here as well we will use the minus sign and once that is done now let's save it get back to unity now if we try to create a waypoint as you can see here it is let me rotate it to that side now let's create another one Let's move it in the forward direction. As you can see, you can now only see the previous waypoint line. But now, if we create another one, you can now see the green line as well. So, as you know that the waypoint one previous waypoint is zero. So that's why I draw a line from the zero to this. Sorry, from this one to this zero, and then. For the zero, the next waypoint is one, as you can see. So that's why it draw a green line. And the reason it is showing this error is because if you click on zero one, it doesn't have the previous waypoint because we didn't connect it all of the waypoints for now. But if you drag and drop the second one in there, and then in the second one, drag and drop the zero waypoint, now this error will be fixed as well. Now, as you can see, they are all connected with each other. And don't worry, when we will be having an AI character, then all of this will make 
even more sense and as I told you this width of these waypoints are the walkable area and here the player will be able to walk freely and guys the reason we use this minus sign right here because as I told you we can't use the dot left keyword in unity so that's why instead of the left we use the minus sign so now as you can see on the left side it shows the previous waypoint line and then on the left side it shows the next and on the right it shows the previous and this is it for this video